Melissa McCarthy has become a favorite in Hollywood as both an actress and a comedian. From her hilarious film roles like Bridesmaids to winning a primetime Emmy Award for her role in Mike and Molly, the Little Mermaid star's career has blossomed right before fans' eyes. While initially recognized as a rare plus-sized actress in Hollywood, Melissa's recent physical transformation has left her longtime fans doing double takes. Keep watching as we explore how Melissa McCarthy's transformation is turning heads. Body Melissa McCarthy's journey with her body and weight has been a central aspect of her life, shaping her experiences from an early age. The comedic actress openly acknowledges her struggles with weight, portraying a relatable narrative that resonates with many. Being plus-sized for the majority of her life, McCarthy's story is one of resilience and self-acceptance despite societal expectations. Even amidst the success she has achieved, the actress has candidly expressed her discomfort with her physical appearance. However, a recent transformation has seen her shed a substantial amount of weight, garnering attention for her newfound confidence. The actress attributes part of her weight loss to a transformative mindset, letting go of the stress and shame associated with her body. This shift in perspective has not only influenced her physical well-being, but has become an inspiring facet of her journey toward self-love. Melissa's relationship with her body traces back to her high school years when she was actively engaged in demanding extracurricular activities like tennis and gymnastics. The physical vibrancy of her youth gradually gave way to a more sedentary lifestyle in her 20s, contributing to weight gain. Despite these shifts, her prowess in the entertainment industry catapulted her into the spotlight, with notable roles in shows like Gilmore Girls and Mike and Molly, as well as the iconic film Bridesmaids. Melissa McCarthy's breakthrough into mainstream visibility came with her role in the popular series Gilmore Girls. Despite being a supporting character throughout the show's run, her portrayal left a lasting impact on audiences. However, this newfound fame brought along challenges, particularly with the label of being the fat cast member. Feeling the weight of societal expectations and perhaps internalizing the pressure, McCarthy reached a point where she decided to take drastic measures. Frustrated with the stigma attached to her body, she embarked on an all-liquid diet as advised by her doctor. The result was a significant weight loss of 70 pounds. However, the journey to a slimmer physique came at a cost. McCarthy's transparency about the experience revealed the emotional toll of the process. Despite shedding pounds, she found herself in a state of misery during the dieting proceedings, prompting her to question the true worth of the weight loss. The complexities of body image and societal expectations became even more nuanced when Melissa McCarthy, later in the run of Gilmore Girls, experienced pregnancy. The natural weight gain associated with pregnancy led her to regain all the weight she had lost through her previous efforts. By the time the show concluded, McCarthy was still carrying her pregnancy weight. After the conclusion of Gilmore Girls in 2007, Melissa McCarthy faced a period of uncertainty in the entertainment industry. However, her fortunes took a positive turn when she secured a starring role in the series Mike and Molly. Notably, at the time of her recruitment, McCarthy maintained her weight, aligning with the series' unique premise that required an actress with a fuller figure. Mike and Molly centered around an overweight couple who met during therapy for excessive eating. While McCarthy had reservations about comedic content that mocked individuals based on their weight, the show's sweet and endearing premise captured her heart. Adding another dimension to her life, Melissa McCarthy welcomed her second child in 2010, coinciding with the premiere of Mike and Molly. The show achieved success from the outset, exposing McCarthy to a broader audience than ever before, and showcasing her at her peak weight. Despite concerted efforts, Melissa retained this weight when she landed the role in the 2011 comedy Bridesmaids, a pivotal moment that catapulted the comedic actress into the realm of movie stardom. 
Melissa McCarthy, long recognized by audiences as the humorous figure with a fuller figure, has embarked on a transformative journey, shedding weight significantly and unveiling a new physical identity. This remarkable weight loss initiative commenced during her tenure on the series Mike and Molly, sparking speculations that the show's cancellation was linked to McCarthy's changing physique. Contrary to these assumptions, the real reason behind the show's conclusion emerged. Melissa's initial contract had reached its conclusion, and the budget constraints hindered renegotiation, especially now that she had ascended to the status of a movie star. The actress's commitment to her health and well-being stands out as she continues to redefine herself beyond the comedic roles that initially brought her into the limelight. Melissa McCarthy's transformative journey to a healthier lifestyle has been a culmination of nearly two decades of grappling with weight-related challenges in Hollywood. Beyond the physical changes, her evolution involves shedding the emotional baggage that accompanies her weight loss journey. McCarthy decided to liberate herself from the shackles of shame, stress, and societal stigma associated with body image, enabling her to embark on a more sustainable and positive a path to well-being. The actress's commitment to her health journey also involved seeking assistance from alternative approaches. One notable aspect of her success is attributed to the use of Garcinia Cambogia, a fruit-derived supplement. Endorsed by celebrity doctor Dr. Oz, this supplement has garnered attention for its purported weight loss benefits. While skepticism may surround Dr. Oz's recommendations, McCarthy's positive results serve as a testament to the potential efficacy of incorporating such supplements into one's wellness routine. Melissa McCarthy's journey to becoming one of the biggest movie stars in the world was undeniably a challenging and rewarding endeavor. Early in her career, she faced skepticism and discouragement from people who believed her weight might hinder her success in the entertainment industry. Despite these naysayers, McCarthy remained steadfast in her pursuit of a career in acting, determined to challenge conventional norms and redefine industry standards. Navigating through the early stages of her career, McCarthy encountered obstacles and doubts about her ability to make it to the top. Many individuals questioned whether she could achieve success given the prevailing stereotypes and expectations surrounding body image in the entertainment world. However, McCarthy's resilience and talent ultimately triumphed over these challenges, proving her critics wrong and solidifying her status as a prominent figure in Hollywood. Melissa McCarthy's comedic prowess wasn't just a product of her Hollywood success. It was ingrained in her from an early age. Growing up on a farm in Illinois, she discovered her knack for making people laugh by putting on comedic shows for her mother. Throughout her high school years, Melissa continued to hone her comedic skills, showcasing a natural affinity for entertaining others. Her dreams extended beyond the boundaries of her hometown as she often fantasized about joining the cast of the iconic Saturday Night Live. SNL. In 1996, Melissa took a significant step toward realizing her Hollywood aspirations. The aspiring comedic actress embarked on a journey to Tinseltown, determined to make a name for herself in the entertainment industry. One of her initial strategic moves was joining the renowned comedy troupe known as The Groundlings. This troupe has served as a breeding ground for many future celebrities and Melissa swiftly became a part of this illustrious group. Melissa McCarthy's journey through Hollywood not only encompassed her professional achievements, but also marked significant personal milestones. During her tenure with the Groundlings, the famed comedy troupe, Melissa crossed paths with her future husband, Ben Falcone. Their connection went beyond the stage, as the two developed a romantic relationship. Eventually, they took their commitment to the next level and exchanged vows in 2005, officially becoming life partners. Interestingly, Melissa's family ties extended to the realm of entertainment, as she is the cousin of Playboy model Jenny McCarthy. Jenny had already made a notable breakthrough in the industry in 1993. However, 
Melissa, in her pursuit of individual recognition, aimed to carve her own identity distinct from her cousin's fame. This endeavor was partly fueled by the desire to avoid comparisons with the celebrated sex symbol, as Melissa was intent on establishing herself on her terms. Melissa faced challenges even before her Hollywood career took off, contending with societal perceptions of body image. The prevailing narrative in the industry suggested that there was no room for a woman of her size. Despite these discouragements, Melissa's talent and resilience prevailed. Her journey took an unexpected turn when she secured a role on the show Gilmore Girls Without Hesitation, proving that her abilities transcended societal expectations. Melissa McCarthy's rise to fame began with her breakout role as Sookie St. James on Gilmore Girls. At the outset of her journey on the show, Melissa was relatively unknown in the industry. The show's creators initially envisioned actress Alex Borstein for the role, but due to scheduling conflicts, Alex couldn't take on the part. This unexpected turn of events paved the way for Melissa, whose audition showcased not only her physical resemblance to Alex, but also her vibrant and lively presence. As Gilmore Girls premiered in 2000, it quickly became a massive hit, with Melissa's character, Sookie, capturing the hearts of viewers and earning her a spot as an audience favorite. Her infectious energy and comedic timing contributed significantly to the show's success, and she continued to portray Sookie throughout all seven seasons of the original series. Interestingly, McCarthy reprised her role in the Gilmore Girls revival, titled Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life. Expressing her sentiments about returning to the set, she shared, I get so sentimental to be back on those sets and to see everybody. It was amazing how we just all fell back into it. Following the conclusion of Gilmore Girls, McCarthy ventured into the comedy realm with her starring role in Mike and Molly, where her performance earned her an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress in a comedy series. Reflecting on the characters in the show, McCarthy shared with Entertainment Tonight, I liked that they had real jobs. He wasn't a cop by day and a superhero by night. Which I love those too, but I liked that I was like, I know these people. I've got cops in my family. I just bought it all. It just all seemed easy. The series enjoyed a successful six-season run, concluding in the spring of 2016. Remarkably, the show secured her just a year before she achieved widespread acclaim for her Academy Award-nominated performance in the 2011 comedy Bridesmaids. The timing was fortuitous for Mike and Molly, as attempting to sign Melissa post-Bridesmaids would have been financially challenging given her newfound status as a movie star. While Bridesmaids marked a significant moment in Melissa McCarthy's film career, catapulting her into the spotlight and earning her an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress, subsequent roles solidified her status as a breakout movie star. Despite not clinching the award, her performance opened new doors, propelling her toward mega-stardom. In the aftermath, McCarthy graced the big screen in various films, portraying memorable characters such as Maggie in St. Vincent, Diana in Identity Thief, Susan Cooper in Spy, Michelle Darnell in The Boss, Abby Yates in Ghostbusters, Answer the Call, and Deanna in Life of the Party. She also took on the role of Detective Connie Edwards in The Happy Time Murders. As McCarthy continues to showcase her versatile talents, there's a buzz surrounding her potential return to the Oscars. Her work in Can You Ever Forgive Me garnered attention and speculation about another nomination, as reported by USA Today. McCarthy, ever humble, attributes the film's success to a collective effort, considering the Oscar buzz as the cherry on top. After the conclusion of Mike and Molly in 2016, speculation arose among fans about the reasons behind the show's cancellation. Many believed that Melissa McCarthy's weight loss played a role in the decision to end the series prematurely. However, this theory was soon debunked as the actual reason emerged. The truth was that Melissa had initially signed a six-year contract for the show, and as it reached its natural conclusion, the series came to an end. 
It had nothing to do with Melissa's evolving physical appearance. With Melissa McCarthy now established as one of the biggest movie stars globally, the show's budget constraints made it impractical to renegotiate her contract, leading to the natural conclusion of the beloved series. Since the conclusion of Mike and Molly, Melissa McCarthy has stayed true to her commitment to evolving as a Hollywood actress. She showcased her versatility by taking on an acclaimed dramatic role in the 2018 film Can You Ever Forgive Me? and the Marvel film Thor. Love and thunder proving her ability to excel beyond the realm of comedy. As she ventures into diverse roles, Melissa is set to appear in several upcoming films, adding to her impressive filmography. Among these projects are highly anticipated titles like Disney's live-action remake of The Little Mermaid, ensuring that Melissa McCarthy's influence in the entertainment industry continues to thrive. Starting her own clothing line, Melissa McCarthy's journey into the world of fashion began with a teenage obsession that persisted throughout her high school years. Focused on the desire to create women's clothing, she initially pursued this passion at Southern Illinois University before making a pivotal move to the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City. However, McCarthy's ambitions took a turn when she decided to leave the Institute and delve into stand-up comedy, a decision that ultimately set her on the path to entertainment industry success. While McCarthy found immense success in comedy and acting, her love for fashion remained a constant part of her identity. In 2015, she ventured back into the fashion world with the launch of her women's clothing line, 7-7. The distinguishing feature of 7-7 is its dedication to catering to women of all sizes. McCarthy, who has experienced fluctuations in size herself, recognized the struggle of finding clothes that make one feel modern and confident in every size. Motivated by this, she ensured that her clothing line covers a wide range, accommodating sizes from 4 to 28. McCarthy's philosophy is clear. She believes everyone should dress exactly how they want, emphasizing the idea that true style transcends size boundaries. Launching her own production company. In 2013, Melissa McCarthy and Ben Falcone embarked on a joint venture by establishing their own production company, On The Day Productions. Reflecting on their creative journey, McCarthy and Falcone shared in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, We've been writing together for longer than we've been married. The opportunity to produce their own projects and contribute to works they are deeply passionate about has been a dream realized for the couple. Among the notable films brought to life by On The Day Productions is McCarthy's 2016 release, The Boss, discussing body image and her size, Reflecting on her past, McCarthy shared, In my 20s, I used to cry about why I wasn't thinner or prettier, but I want to add that I also used to cry about things like, I wish my hair would grow faster, I wish I had different shoes, I was an idiot. It's a decade of tears in an interview with People. What adds to McCarthy's resilience is her remarkable response to body shaming. When labeled as tractor-sized Melissa McCarthy, in a review for Identity Thief in The Observer, she responded with grace. McCarthy told the New York Times, I felt really bad for someone who is swimming in so much hate. I just thought that's someone who's in a really bad spot, and I am in such a happy spot. I laugh my head off every day with my husband and my kids who are mooning me and singing me songs. In an interview with The Today Show, she further emphasized, I know I am not the norm. It never occurs to me in terms of being a role model, though, because I don't know any perfect women. If I, off the top of my head, name 20 of the most amazing women in my life, it's all shapes, sizes, ages, colors, jobs. I can only go off my reality. It's all paying off. Despite her modest beginnings, McCarthy has come a long way from her humble origins. Unlike many of her peers in the Hollywood elite, she has carved out a prominent place for herself. Glamour magazine even recognizes her as one of the highest-paid women in Tinseltown, a noteworthy achievement in an industry known for its stringent body standards. It's a testament to her talent and hard work that she has achieved such financial success. However, McCarthy's financial success wasn't handed to her on a silver platter. I've gotten lucky, she admitted, acknowledging the role of fortune in her journey. 
but she was quick to emphasize, I've worked hard. This hard work included diligently managing her finances, especially after facing challenges during her early days in New York. McCarthy also became known for her tenacity in negotiations, refusing to accept low offers and standing up for herself, a display of true fierceness. Despite her solid financial standing, McCarthy remains cautious about the future. I always assume every job is my last, she revealed, offering insight into the mindset that comes from two decades of striving for success in a competitive industry. A loving mother and role model. Racing two daughters, Vivian and Jorgette, McCarthy is dedicated to instilling in them a sense of authenticity and confidence in their own skin. In an interview with Red Book, she passionately expressed, Give me your best punch in the face and I'll take that punch, rather than have my kid feel bad about herself. There's an epidemic in our country of girls and women feeling bad about themselves based on what 0.5% of the human race looks like. It starts very young. My message is that as long as everybody's healthy, enjoy and embrace whatever body type you have. Pushing for parity. Navigating Hollywood as a woman has never been a walk in the park, especially in the wake of movements like Me Too and Time's Up, which have shed light on the industry's challenges. Recognizing the need for positive change, McCarthy has actively embraced her influence to contribute to a better future. Partnering with Walmart, she played a key role in creating a short film advocating for equality and inclusion. Premiering during the 2018 Oscars, the commercial was a collaborative effort with Women in Film, an organization committed to fostering equality in the film industry. For McCarthy, engaging in this meaningful work is a catalyst for genuine transformation. When people start talking about changing the climate and become aware of something that's so systematic, that's a step in the right direction, she expressed in an interview with Today Style. While acknowledging that the issue isn't instantly resolved, McCarthy firmly believes in the power of initiating Changji. It's a sentiment reflected in her optimism about the future. Realizing that the numbers are not okay, there's not enough diversity. As long as we keep shining the light, it's a very exciting time, she remarked. The prospect of progress appears promising in McCarthy's eyes, where she sees herself at 70. Embracing the inevitable march of time, McCarthy approaches the concept of aging with a remarkably positive and healthy perspective, as revealed in an interview with AARP magazine. She dismisses any anxiety about growing older, emphasizing the richness that comes with age. The older you are, the more interesting you are as a character, she remarked, highlighting the wisdom, humor, and intelligence that accompany the passage of time. McCarthy firmly believes that aging allows individuals to become more authentically themselves. Injecting her trademark humor into the conversation, McCarthy playfully envisions her golden years, declaring, Once I hit 70, it's going to be all caftans and turbans and big wacky glasses. Contrary to the prevailing norms in Hollywood, McCarthy perceives aging as an opportunity for self-discovery and expression. Getting older means knowing yourself, and if you know yourself, express it, she asserted. A little bit of joy goes a long way. Melissa McCarthy is far from reaching the end of her journey, extending her influence from a diverse women's clothing line to a flourishing acting career. Beyond her professional endeavors, she proudly identifies as a feminist and actively strives to reshape societal comparisons. Serving as a genuine role model for females of all generations, McCarthy imparts wisdom about the significance of cherishing small moments of happiness. In her own words to Red Book, she emphasizes, the small happy moments add up. A little bit of joy goes a long way. As we delve into the multifaceted journey of Melissa McCarthy, it's evident that her story goes beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. From her early struggles with body image to her triumphs as a versatile actress and entrepreneur, McCarthy stands as a beacon of resilience and authenticity. What aspects of Melissa's journey resonate with you? Share your thoughts in the comments below.
If you enjoyed this exploration, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more captivating stories. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.